It's not like it's Evo and it's scrolling so fast that we can't read it. All right, we've got Wisp and Sherbert, and it looks like they're playing right now. Is this Bracket? All right, here we go. Wisp versus Sherbert, they struck to FD. I can kind of understand that from both sides. I feel like it's still a better choice for Wisp than Sherbert, but uh, one of the nice things about this matchup on this stage for Peach Ooh. is, for one thing, the chain throw, and for another thing, it's harder to avoid turnips. If I remember correctly, the, um, in Smash 4, Peach has a infinite up, up air combo, right? Like the best Peach player in the world uh, can actually teaches people how to do it. In Smash 4? Yeah. I wouldn't know. Um, but uh, see, this is the thing about this stage for Wisp. Um, yes, there's the chain throw, and yes, on paper, that makes it a Peach stage. But this is also a very strong Falcon stage because if he gets an up air after uh, a certain percent. A little bit to the left. Up air combos right. into up air. And up air combos into, let's say, me or back air or whatever else the Falcon wants to do, whatever his little heart desires. Um, so Sherbert is going to have to get his grabs. He's Oof. going to have to use his turnips smartly. He's going to have to use like, the advantages like of that. this stage because Falcon does have advantages on the stage. Um, it's, it's not just a. That was a nasty a down smash. Here. I can see why they struck here. Okay, pretty much dead even. Really nice little combo there from Sherbert, but he gets hit with the upper coming back, so... Edgeguard situation, really smart from Wisp to take a ledge that quickly. 69% didn't charge for that long, but we'll see what... Yep, Sherbert gets the sock for it. All right, there we go. And he missed. Oof. Yeah, he's going to eat a lot of punishment for that. Wisp uh, went for it all and missed pretty unfortunately. I have to leave in 10 minutes. All right. Good wait from Sherbert there. Yeah. He's able to just crouch cancel the jabs and get the down smash out. What? Dash attack. Ooh. Nice down tilt there. Ooh. Oh, what? Uh, yeah, Sherbert's he's looking a little bit more solid and consistent, Ooh. but Wisp is having his moments where he just gets the right spacing and, say, lands a knee. Um, I think in the long run, like, my money's on Sherbert. But he has to execute. Like, he has to take advantage of the things that this stage is going to give him. There Ooh. we go. Ooh. Got scared into rolling, and that's exactly what the Falcon player is always going to want. You roll in against the Falcon, just expect to get down, down aired or something. And that's a confirmed combo, right? Uh, Falcon uh, down air into forward air? Oh, absolutely, yes. Uh, the down air puts you in so much hit stun. A lot of the time, um, you have time to not get the L cancel on the down air, and the knee is still guaranteed because you're in hit stun for so long. I've seen things at, at such high percents. Uh, like, down air to taunt to me. Like taunt? That, Are you, um, they have enough time to taunt? Uh, I've also, on certain characters at certain percents, uh, down air, if they don't DI, combos into immediate falcon punch. And again, that has to be disrespectful are, as fuck. Again, they are in hit stun for so long that they actually can't avoid it. It is a guaranteed combo at that point. That is just mean. Like, I can understand, like, using the combo by itself, but what respectable Smash Melee player would taunt before doing the knee? Oh, I th there's no point in being respectful if you're taunting. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, Wisp is in trouble here. Sherbert needs to capitalize on the edge guard, though. He let him touch down, so he's got a double jump. Oh, okay, well, he didn't have a double jump there, so we're good. Um, so, but it's, it's that kind of execution failure, I, I don't want to say such a harsh word, but uh, missing his execution on punishes like that, or not getting everything out of it, is the reason that I think Sherbert is not winning right now. Because um, he, he's winning neutral a little bit more often. It's just, Ooh. he's not she always bitch slapped him up. into oblivion. Uh, she actually hits you with the crown there. Wait, do um, she, what? She takes the crown off her head and swings it at you. Are so you serious? It's not just her hand. You're, you're getting hit with something pointy and sharp. She's the master of the pimp slap. Yeah. Jeez. She can take care of herself in this game. 
Which lends all the more credence to the theory that she's just getting kidnapped by Bowser on purpose, you know? But that's just a theory. A game theory. Shadows, please, that. Uh, ple ple please don't remove this part of the audio. Oh, okay. That was terrible DI on the forehead. <laughs> forward tilt. Um, like, clearly, Sherbert just trying to get himself back on stage and holding in for that reason, for, for the sake of his movement, and getting caught by a move that sent him straight out. Uh, he got nothing out of it. He got KO'd way earlier than he should have. Sherbert just kind of trying to worm his way in, and it's not necessarily working. He, he's kind of going for his autopilot, I want to get in options. That one finally worked because he landed at a shield. That was probably the single forward smash that he didn't want because it sent him the furthest up, but it didn't matter. He got the KO, and he stands to uh, take game one if he can keep this up. Uh, Wisp really needs some something explosive right now to open the game back up. So otherwise Are you just talking about perhaps a falcon punch? Uh, maybe a little too explosive. <laughs> um, but yeah, at this point, Peach is just looking for trades. Peach is, uh, she's really heavy. She has good recovery. If she takes a trade and lives, she has won that trade. Because damage on her means less than damage on another Ooh. character. Oh, wow. He tried to fade back to ledge thinking that uh, Sherbert would get up and try and cover his on stage option. It fooled me. Yeah, me but too. But clearly, Sherbert covered that option, whether he saw it coming or not. Also, I never knew that she takes a crown off of her head. Because that's like a brass knuckle, if you think about it. It's it's really unpleasant to think about. Like, I, I'd rather take a knee to the face than Peach's crown. No, not Falcon's knee. Falcon's knee. He knees you so hard that actually the air ignites and sparks fly out. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know, man. Oh, oh, Sherbert. Oh, he tried to go in for the punish. Flip. Didn't really matter because he had a float and he's Peach. But, uh. And another thing I don't. I, that Peach players do a lot. Oh. Yeah, I guess Wisp uh, maybe thought he had a jump. Or maybe he just missed his first up B input and got the second one out too slowly. A Falcon falls fast. Um, very similar to the space animals. Like, sometimes you just miss the timing because your character is too precise. I really liked that turn up. Um, that covered exactly the option that Wisp wanted to go for. That's the kind of option coverage that separates like a low-level player from a mid-level player. And Peach is just uh, throwing out everything in the garden. Yeah. Um, when you start thinking about instead of where do I think they're going to be and where could they possibly be and how can I cover everything, you start finding a whole lot more hits in neutral because your opponent just has fewer things they can do. You know, in Smash 4, I think Peach is the only reason that Bayonetta doesn't have an ass move. Where she hits people with her ass. I, have, I don't understand the relationship, but I'll take your word for it, man. Have you uh, seen Bayonetta? Sherbert, well, yes. Sherbert, able to take that stock. Uh, just sitting on the side throwing turnips. Didn't really work out for him that well. He probably, oh, God. He probably wanted to go in for a little something more substantial. The uh, thing I don't like about Peach players is they just throw out uh, down air, down smash, just over and over and over again. It It is a good uh, first order optimal strategy. Uh, first order optimal means that at the very lowest level, um, it's really good and takes a lot less effort to learn than what is actually really good. Um, so... Until he, uh, until Wisp proves that it's not working, I say down smash away. It eats up shields, it does a lot of damage, especially if you hold down. It's almost always safe on hits, Ooh. like there's almost no way to punish it he when you get Did hit he by tech it. that? Yeah, he teched it off the ledge, but it didn't matter because then he double jumped into the next hit and had no recovery options for getting off the other side. Another thing I've always wondered is, uh, how does, where does Peach pull out all of those, uh, like the tennis racket, the frying pan? Does she have something like General Grievous' uh, cape where, like, in her dress she has, like, pockets where she just pulls these things out of? Well, I, I can't say exactly where she's keeping them, but what I can say is that her hit boxes, like the, or her hurt boxes, rather, the parts where you can hit her are much smaller than they actually appear, especially when she's floating. Um, so it may be that a lot of the uh, bulk in her bustle is actually taken up by her weapons. Hmm. Um, also, there's the theory that uh, she's just got a whole bunch of like chunks of concrete and tungsten steel or barbed wire hidden in her dress, and that that's why her down smash hurts so much and goes so far. That is that is messed up. 
That's not an actual theory. It's just a game. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you... And he takes right. the stock, the final stock, with a knee of justice. 